Super Tuesday across the country, the biggest day of voting until the November election. Billions of Americans in 15 states voting today. Donald Trump hoping to sweep every state up against Nikki Haley, hoping to soon pivot officially to the general election. And tonight, the exit polls with some intriguing findings already. One question, what will Nikki Haley's supporters do come November? Going into tonight, Donald Trump far ahead of his only remaining challenger, Governor Haley, of course. He could come very close to clinching the nomination. And barring some major surprises tonight, another big question, of course, how long will Nikki Haley stay in this race? Look at the map at this hour. On the Republican side, voters in 15 states casting their ballots tonight. 865 delegates up for grabs, 36% of the total delegates at stake in the Republican primary. The polls now closed in 12 states. You can see the states there in purple. The 10 that Donald Trump has already won tonight, the states we've already called here at ABC News. And here are the latest results just into ABC. Just moments ago, ABC News calling the race for Donald Trump based on an analysis of the vote in Colorado. In Alabama, he's won the Republican primary as well. In Texas, Donald Trump beats Nikki Haley in the Republican primary. In Arkansas, Donald Trump has won as well. In Massachusetts, just moments ago, we have just learned Donald Trump has beaten Nikki Haley. And in Vermont at this hour, the race is still a dead heat. We're getting our first look at what voters are saying in the exit polls as well. Nikki Haley supporters were asked, how will they vote come November? This is preliminary exit poll data tonight coming in from Virginia, North Carolina, California. But it's telling. Haley supporters were asked in the presidential election this November, will you vote for the Republican nominee no matter who it is? In North Carolina, 81% of Haley supporters said no. In California, 69% said no. And in the key battleground of Virginia, 68% of Vicki Haley supporters said no. They would not vote for the Republican nominee, no matter who it is. That's a potential hurdle going forward for Donald Trump. But make no mistake, this has been a big night for Donald Trump. We have it all covered this evening, beginning with Rachel Scott on the campaign trail. Tonight, from Massachusetts to Virginia, Texas to California, Millions of voters lining up to cast their ballots. Donald Trump hoping to nearly lock up the Republican nomination with a Super Tuesday sweep. More than 850 delegates up for grabs. We want to send a signal that we're coming. This freight train's coming. This could be the last stand for Trump's last Republican challenger, Nikki Haley. It is time for a new generational leader who can leave the negativity and the baggage behind. But today across the country, many Republican voters firmly in Trump's camp. From retired teacher Deborah Pergerson in North Carolina. He's conservative. He was pro-life. And I think he did a whole lot for the country when he was president. To Joseph Hudson in Tennessee. Trump is, is a very coarse individual, but he's, he, he at least he knows how to run the country. I think he'll make a, a strong president again as long as he stays focused and does not become vengeful. Still in Mobile, Alabama, Charles Bolton, who has voted for Trump before, is voting for Haley this time. The guy scares me to death. He is so far off with his comments and his radicalism. President Biden on the ballot in 15 states tonight, facing nominal opposition. Still Biden urging Democrats to turn out as a show of strength to kick off the general election against Trump. I guess the single most important message is that our democracy is at stake. Literally, yep. our democracy. That message sinking in with William Brinker, a retiree from Massachusetts. I think that the history of Trump, the, the lawlessness uh, he's exhibited, his threats of reprisal if elected, I think are serious concerns. I, I think all of his actions historically uh, undermine democracy. In Alabama, social worker Jessica Rush, anxious at the prospect of a Trump return. Unfortunately, the racist remarks, he has made um, the bigotry against women and a lot of people of color. So it, it's, I'm uncertain with him. He, he gives me anxiety. Donald Trump says flat out he does not care if Nikki Haley stays in this race or drops out. At recent campaign events, he barely even mentions her name. The former president now focused on that general election and the likely rematch with President Biden, David. Rachel Scott leading us off here. She's live inside Mar-a-Lago tonight. Rachel, our thanks to you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.